Hello everyone, this is the Autistic Girl and welcome to the part 2 video of the August 2023 bullet journal setup. So in the part 1 video, we did the introduction of the new dot grid notebook, we did the cover page and all the planning. The theme of this month's bullet journal setup is inspired by the cover page I made for August last year. And the theme is relaxation. So now let's dive into the video and complete a bullet journal setup. So this is the page on which I made the weekly goals and the mood tracker. So I'm first making a colorful border. So the reason why I'm not doing watercolors on that side is because I will be using my black gel pen there and my black gel pen is not waterproof. And this is where I screw up. I was supposed to write weekly goals but instead I was about to write Monday. So I'm going to hide it with a little bit of the dot grid sheet but it's still noticeable, which is sad. Now we're done with our weekly goals and a mood tracker. I made the border for the habit tracker off camera and now I'm coloring in for the uh, gratitude. I would like to give a tip and that is before you do the black gel pen part this is especially for those people who do not have a waterproof black pen please do the watercolors on both sides of the pages before doing the black gel pen part you need to be a little cautious about this because there is a chance that your watercolors might smudge the black gel pen part on the other side of the page so to avoid that, do the watercolor part first and then do the black pen part. So I'm done with all the painting. The watercolors have dried completely. So now it's time to do the black gel pen part. So this is a good technique as well. You complete with all the painting, all the watercoloring and then you outline and draw everything. And here's another goof up. I was supposed to write Tuesday because August 1 is Tuesday and yeah, I messed that up as well. Now we're done with the task section as well, then we have completed the bullet journal setup. So as you can see, I'm drawing cute small doodles on this page and that is because I haven't drawn a border and I'm thinking that I can fill the peripheries of this page with cute doodles. I mean, the theme is relaxation and drawing doodles like these are, you know, a way of relaxing as well. So. I think it's a good way to incorporate the team into the task section and I'm really happy for that. So here's what it looks like and I hope you liked it and you are inspired by it. If you are, if you did like it, then please like, comment, share and subscribe. Check out the description for more useful information and stay tuned.